Welcome to Brighouse Bay Holiday Park. Good morning! <laughs> it's not the actual holiday park, that is Brighouse Bay. This is Brighouse Bay. Yeah. Very rocky, very nice, very Scottish. And right behind me, 200 metres behind me, is the holiday park where our motorhome is parked up for three nights. We have got the most amazing thing on this campsite. The whole campsite is amazing. It is, it is, it but... so much to offer. I think it cost us about 26 to 28 pounds per night. Yeah. But included in that, you get, are you ready for this? A free jet. <laughs> We technically bought it, haven't we? It's ours for three days. Yep. It's one of them places which reminds me of Mars. Yes. We've it's just me. climbed over all this just to get this shot for you. Yes. <laughs> it is beautiful. The sun is out. It is cool. It's very windy today. But we aren't letting that stop us. Absolutely not. Let's go. Let's go and show them what they have to offer on here. Nature. Proper nature. You don't get that where I come from. I'll just keep it running. She will fall in a minute. <laughs> Okay, we're going to leave the beach behind for now, as beautiful as it is. Don't be coming here if you want to watch television, cartoons, movies, go to the cinema, anything like that, because there's no internet. It is terrible here. Now, on our phones with three, um, zero internet. Zero. Yes. With rural internet, Link in the description. We have got a signal, haven't we? And I even managed to watch football last night. Yeah. So, very happy, but not strong enough to upload a video. So we've got to drive off today and... Um... Upload a couple of videos and yeah. come back, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Um, don't get me wrong, you know, this rural internet, I don't think it's a magic box like we were saying. Well, not that we were saying, we thought that we thought. It's not going to give you... Internet if there's no internet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, the actual mast it's coming from here is in Preston, in England. Yeah. That's the nearest one that's I could a, find. That's a massive distance. That's a long though, distance. Yeah. Um, is there any I, time we've had trouble with it, though, is here? I think the reason for it is you've got the hills, uh, Galloway Hills, behind us. So there's yeah. nothing coming. They're blocking any signal from the north. So the only one is from the south, which is yeah. Preston. Uh, so don't expect an amazing signal when you come here. But we're not knocking it, because if we didn't have it, we wouldn't even be able to do anything, would we? No, 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 no. What I'm saying is if you haven't got rural internet, you probably won't have any won't. signal whatsoever. <laughs> you won't, no. It's really bad. But as I say, I managed to watch football last night, so I'm happy. Right, back through the woods. Let's get to the campsite. Watch out for snakes here, Mazzy. Snakes? Yeah. So we have actually ended up at this campsite by accident. Oh yeah, that was your mistake, wasn't it? I booked it, it by accident. Oh, sorry. I, I didn't realise it was only, I think, seven miles away from his last, last campsite. One, yeah. <laughs> well, it turned out quite good. Yeah, but I thought it was on the next peninsula, you see, and it's not. And then when I just saw an aeroplane, <laughs> I saw an aeroplane on a picture, I just booked it. Yes. Um, but there really isn't much to do on this little bit, apart from some lovely walks. Oh no, there's lots to do if you're not... What do you mean you know, there's not a lot to do? You know, there's no, no sights to go and see on this little bit. No, but I feel the camps that you've got enough to oh, do, you, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, stay with us, you're going to see. But what I'm saying is Kakudbury, Kakubri. Um, that's your nearest place and there's nothing else to see no, we've to go done visit, yeah. you know, unless you want to go for a walk or a bike ride or something. We'll go and find internet, which we're doing today. Right, we're lost. Yeah, should we carry on? So that's how far the campsite is, just through there. I think we need to go through there, Mazzy. And the sea is just there. Yep. Just need to pop back to the van for a... Another battery for this camera. Yeah. You, no, it's that, Mazzy. I've never seen that before. Oh, yeah, that's 
good. A caravan with pop out sides. I've oh, never seen that. That's good. And there's where we parked, look. Yeah, we're the only ones in this bit who've got some sun. At and the it's moment. a service pitch, that's why it was £26 a night as service well. Service pitch, yes. Yeah. And it is a holiday park, it's not just for tourers. There's static caravans here and stuff. There's a proper clubhouse and stuff. There's all sorts here. Shh, we're going to show them in a minute. Okay. <laughs> Let her try and get through the door, which is locked. So here is a map of the campsite which they've given us. And we came in here, reception here, and we only drove to here. And we're there. They actually allocate you a place, told us where we were going. But look how big it is, you've got all these over here, which we haven't even seen. I'm not sure if they're statics, I think this is just the touring bit. You've got a few lakes, all sorts kicking off around here, which we will go to. And then, if you go into the shop, they have some maps which you can pick up. This is the South West Coastal 300. This is what we've been doing. So, it starts at Gretna. We didn't film any of this, we've done Dumfries before. We came straight to here and we started it here. We've only gone from there, we went to there, and then to there, and now we're down here. That's all we've done, got all that to do. Um, Gate House of Fleet we went to yesterday, um, but we were going to be now, go where are we Mazzy? There. We were going to be going here on a campsite. But there's just nothing around to see, so what we've decided to do is we're going to have to miss that out um, and go straight over either down to Port William or onto Port Patrick and do these two peninsulas. That's the plan. Anyway, back to <laughs> the campsite. I'm loving the campsite rules here. No disturbing noise after 10.30. But absolute quiet between 12 midnight and 8am. What's the difference between absolute quiet and no disturbing noise? And no noise, yeah. What's the exact definition, Mazzy? What's the difference? Is it like, you can go like this at half past It 10. just means you've got to go to bed at 10.30, young man, I can right? do that. I can do that. <laughs> Leave that to me. As we say, we have a service pitch, so we have water, electric and grey waste emptying available there. Yes, which is good. What I have noticed though, nearly every campsite we've been on, we've had to use as ramps. Yeah! <laughs> You'd yeah. think they'd be flat, wouldn't you? But uh, we've had to have as ramps every time. It appears a lot of these caravans are here for the season. Annual ones, yeah. Annual ones, there yeah. seem to be. Yeah, they definitely are. <laughs> and another thing I've noticed, I don't know if it's just the Scottish, I don't know, but they all have massive, massive awnings. Yeah, that one just now is bigger than the actual caravan. Yeah, bigger than the caravan, and it yeah. were a big caravan. Yeah. Another one had a boat in front of it. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, coming up to a kid's play area by the look of it. Isn't it beautiful? It really is. It's a big sight, isn't it? Just look at that. So a lovely kids play area there with a tractor in the middle. I don't know if that's for them to climb on. <laughs> or they're just doing some work there. Loads of bins. Loads of place to turn. Oh, it's, it's lovely. Look at this. Massive, massive shower block. I think it's a shower block. Bathroom, gents. I have a problem with this already. Unisex yes. ensuite cubicles. No way, no chance. Wash up sinks, <laughs> cannon bottle banks, and a bin compound. I think this is the biggest building I've ever seen on a campsite. <laughs> uh, drinking water. Got all the sinks. One, two. That's quite good. Seven really. dishwashing sinks. Yeah. Fantastic around the back. I think this is the unisex. Yeah, We've got unisex a sign in there, 20 warning, 24 hour video recording in the bathrooms. And it's unisex. Don't knock it. We record 24 hours a day. 
chemical disposal there. Another walk into the woods and down to the beach there. Laundry room, let's have a look. My favourite room, this is well good. Your favourite room? Yeah, this is really big and good, isn't it? Wow, what are these? Washing machines, three. Is that two more? There's one there as well, Four, two five, more. Six washing machines. Ironing boards. An ironing board. That's well good. Two ironing boards and two dryers. Pound. These are nice, aren't they? These are right nice. <laughs> They're huge nice. as well. They all take tokens which you pick up from reception. Very nice indeed. Oh, this is grand, isn't it? I like this. Mm. So the tractor is actually for the kids to climb on. I thought it was the lawnmower man's tractor just I parked did. it up. Well, no, it's... Uh, How would you get up? Permanently here. Let me see, I want to get up. Ah! Oh. Even Mazzy can't get up on the tractor in the kids' playground. I can't get my leg over that. That's real good, isn't it? <laughs> Something tells me we might be here for a while. <laughs> yeah, it's a very good playground. There's even a zip wire here. Which I don't think Mazzy's seen, because she does like her zip wires. Try it out. You're supposed to stand on it, like, or we'll sit on it. A new kind of swing. Not seen one of these before. Oh, that's a... Ooh. No! Not that way! <laughs> oh, no. oh, dear. What a stupid invention! <laughs> Ready? Whee! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, it's made me dizzy! <laughs> That's not bad! They shouldn't just have this for kids! <laughs> this should be for adults! Go on, have a go, please! See how far she can run! Yay! <laughs> And up here it's the holiday park. is the holiday park, the proper static caravans. Yep. And I'll tell you what, Mazzy, we're not going right to the end because this goes on and on and on. Does it? Yes. We're going to go a quarter of the way and then we're going to turn that way towards the golf club, darling. Oh, the golf club. Yes. This is all still part of the campsite. I'm not sure about the actual golf course itself. There is a proper 18-hole golf course down here. Yeah, or a nine-hole, or a driving range. Yes. Now, you can... It does say bring your own clubs if you want to play. Oh, they, you can't hire them? I'm guessing you can just pay and play for the week. Yeah, and... that would be good. I'm guessing you can. That's all right. Golf course down here. Next to the sea, that's real good, isn't it? Yeah, we're just going to go up to this post here just for a little view because we can see the sea in the distance. So there is a sign saying golfers only beyond this point, so we're not going any further, but the sea is right here. How cool is that? You've got one of the flags here, that's one of the holes. But I think it's all on that side as well, over there. It is, yeah. Yeah. Um, here you've got a swimming pool. Let's go and have a look. Closed at the moment. Everything's closed. Yeah. There is a swimming pool. So that is the swimming pool in there. Looks very nice. And a jacuzzi by the look of it. Is that a jacuzzi? There's a jacuzzi. There is a jacuzzi here though, isn't there? Yes. And there is also a, uh, what do you call them? Sauna. Sauna, yeah. I believe all that's closed for yeah. Covid at the moment. Um, you can buy uh, golf buggies as well. I wonder if you could hire one just for fun. Golf buggies, they've got loads of them. There's three over there. There's about seven down there. And I think this up here is the clubhouse. I imagine in high season this would be packed and everyone enjoying themselves. They would be, if the yeah. all this was open, I mean. And one thing I will say is, out of season, guys, I reckon anyone will get in here because there's a lot of empty... Um, and it is huge. Pitches. The, yeah, the the acres here is going to be... How many pitches do you reckon? I have no idea. <laughs> but for the amount of <clears throat> uh, facilities and stuff, I think it's pretty cheap. You'd normally pay a lot of money for a site like this. You can eat here as well. I think usually it's a restaurant. So let's try and see in there. Can you see anything? 
Oh, it's just like a little cafe, cafe place for the, uh, I'm guessing for the swimming pool. Oh yeah, look at this map, look. that's a more sort of better. Yeah, so we're there. I've shown on this map already. Yeah, no, you've only shown this one. A you can see it's sort of clearer on there, can't you, to what's going well, on? Well, we're parked there. We've just done a walk around here. We're now up here. Um, and then we're going to go through the camping area down here and down there somewhere. Yeah, that's the bar in there. They do have entertainment on as well, on evenings. It's this cool, is a bar yeah. as well in here. Oh, yeah. It's a big place, big place. There is somewhere as well, a bike track, Mazzy. We need to find the bike yeah, track. What's on that map? What map? So we must be here at the Leisure Club. Oh, and yeah. Behind here is the mountain bike trails. That must be pretty cool. Yeah. I've just noticed they've got fishing ponds. We haven't come across them yet. Fishing ponds, yeah. Well, we have. Have we? No. Have we? We can go fishing. We ain't seen water today. Not today. I saw it yesterday. It's even got its own bowling green. Bowls. Bowling, bowling green. Bowls green. Actually, there is bowling here, isn't there? There's also 10-pin bowling, yes. Yeah, where's that? It's not like proper 10-pin bowling, it's like a miniature version. Yeah. I've seen a picture of it. It'll be in the clubhouse we've just been in. Oh. Is that supposed to be one? Yeah, it's like your big deluxe one. It's that yeah. big, it's split in two. <laughs> yeah. That's it's crazy. It's quite nice. No, I think it's meant to be just one Mazzy. No, they have them joined like that big cabin. Really? Yeah. Well, that is fantastic. No prices on them, which is a shame. I'd settle for one of those. Winnie Muir. It's all split up into little different sections. Now, this one, the last two or three we've seen look pretty empty, as if they're either shut for the season or they're still building them. A nice little, it's like a little avenue of about six caravans. Yeah. It's like your own little road. You have your own little friends in there. <laughs> it's lovely, isn't it? It's not like a caravan park at all, this end. No, you, you, just, you wouldn't need to leave here, really, would you? The shop's good as well, isn't it? We got to the shop yesterday. There is a shop. It's not got much in at the moment, but I'm sure that's just because it's out of season now. But, you know, if you want bread and stuff, it's got things like that. So we're back to the play area. Well, this just goes to show, look, how many pitches they've got available. Not a single one here. So if you come here after school holidays, you will get a pitch. Absolutely, yeah. If you're not touring, you don't want a static caravan, you're not in a tent, pod. you can always have a pod. <laughs> These look good, don't they? One, two, three, four, five. I think there's about seven of them in this row anyway. And Mazzy thinks she's found one of the lakes. There's about three lakes. These pods are going out onto the lake. That would be so good. It would, wouldn't it? Yeah. Look at this. I don't know if you had children, I wouldn't consider it. No, you've got your own table and... Oh, this is lovely. We've... Oh, this is huge, this place, isn't it? Wouldn't it be lovely, Mazzy, being in one of them pods and yeah. just... Uh, walk, walking Bar out to this in the morning? Yeah. Stunning. It's a basic pod. I just don't see the appeal in it. Surely they can make these really nice inside, can't they? Well... It's like a prison cell, isn't it? <laughs> you have got a toilet in the background, a bathroom. Two places to sit or sleep there. One to sit or sleep there. I you have know. got... What did I see over there? A fridge and a microwave and a tabletop. Yeah, not even carpet on the floor. Yeah, they are basic, but it's, you know... Yeah, but they're so lovely. They really could make the most of these. You're inside. paying for this. Yeah. I'm not sure how to get to this point, but this is where we could do with coming. It's a good service point, it's isn't it? Biggest I've ever seen. You've got your chemical yeah. toilet there. Look at this. Three drains. So you can cater for Fresh whichever water. side you're on, doesn't it? It's massive. We have missed out half of this, by the way, as well, haven't we? No, I don't think we have. I think we have. <laughs> so there's obviously one or two Taurus up here. I'd have liked to have been up here, I'll be honest with you. Knowing I've got this, because I'm not sure where to empty the toilet down at the bottom. Um, right, this way, Mazzy. No, there's nothing up there. Okay, come on then. 
So here's one of the other lakes. It's so good, isn't it? You could just get a chair and sit here and have a picnic and chill out for the day. This is the one I was at yesterday, I think, where there was two swans. Yeah. Oh, watch out for the common toad. Can you see any? couple of huge lodges in the background there. Very, very nice. Yep. And Another this is the lake. third lake. Yeah. And this is, sorry, this is where I saw the swans yesterday. No, you saw them over there, but they've come over here today. Very nice. So I'm guessing, I don't know if there's fish in here or not. I'm guessing there is. I'm guessing you can go fishing. Yeah. I wonder if you're allowed to swim in it. Swim? Well, if you're a kid, you know. Kids like to do Let's just say uh, no, yeah? <laughs> I don't think I'd want to. Beautiful swans. And behind there, you have your little putting green. Putting green. Three, four, five. I'm guessing it's a nine over. There is a range here as well, actually, isn't there? Driving a range. A driving range, yeah. I don't know if that might have been up at the golf course. So much to do here. There's a few palm trees over here. Because where we are, this is known as the Scottish Riviera. Because you get the warm winds coming up from, well, I don't know, Atlantic it is or warm Spain. It's warm now, actually. I had to take my scarf. It, it is, is hot, lovely. Just this. wanted to see this. It's overgrown a bit. Isn't a it? beautiful lodge, but it's overgrown. Oh, look at all them. We could make a pie, Mazzy. All these lovely blackberries ready to eat, going to waste. So this is where you would come in, I think. Yeah. Uh, reception is down here with the shop and it is a big big shop. As I say, there's not a lot in it at this time of year. It's got essentials and toys for the kids. And it's big, you know, yeah. once that's full in summer, I bet there's got everything in there. And the touristy information you bit somewhere in there, isn't yes, it? Yes, yes, but we've saved the best till last. Are you ready? Yeah. If you book in here for, I think it's about £27. If you book in here for £27, you don't only just get a free, uh, somewhere to stay for three, for the night. Yeah. You get your own aeroplane, your own jet. <laughs> How cool is that? Check that out. It is a Gloucester Meteor. And I think I'm right in saying this is the only jet, the first jet, the only jet they used in World War II. Hmm. Interesting fact for you. I don't know if it's real or just a mock-up. What do you think, Mazzy? Hmm. I'd like to say I real. I would say real, but yeah. I'm thinking mock-up. I'm sure a bit of it's been adapted. Yeah, but very nice. You know, that is what did it for me. Yeah. <laughs> And there's lots of other things. Uh, we've got to mention game rooms, and you can hire quad bikes. That I would have loved. In to have season, done. quad yeah. bikes, yeah. <laughs> there's something for everyone. For everybody, yeah. As I say, this particular part, there really isn't much to do for about six miles from here. But you wouldn't here. want to leave site. You've got restaurants, but, bars, everything. So. <laughs> yeah, you've got all you need here. So, yeah. if you are interested, um, it is called Brighouse Bay camping site I think holiday mm -hmm. park sorry holiday park um, you can tent here camp here can't you You're yeah higher park we won't be here by the time you've seen this by the way we're going we're a few days ahead with us videos now yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't even know how to find our motorhome has it? No. so we're just gonna go and try and find our motorhome now because we're a bit lost it's that big yeah <laughs> we'll catch you all on the next yeah have a lovely evening that. bye bye, bye.